You know about the upstart and uh, the wonderful way with our shave and Mithra and Splinter and a few other people. Well, at the latest to join this uh, long bunch of uh, successful or semi-successful or completely unsuccessful names are the Nancy Boys, who uh, have just finished at present uh, a foreign tour. Now, uh, I've, I spoke to Gideon and, and Glyn, but before you hear the outcome of that conversation, here's a track from their debut album, The Nancy Boys Sing For You, and it's called Social Insecurity. Okay, lads, um, can you tell me a little bit about the European tour? It seems a bit ambitious going to Europe when you haven't really played too much around your own area. Well, we like to claim it over there because it's really nice and the sun's belting out all the time. That's why we go over there because the weather over here is terrible. I mean, we joined the common market and you would think at least we'd get common market weather over here. And how, do you, how did you find it then? I mean, what was it like? Well, it was good. We went over. Super. It was really nice. But, uh, you know, our gus. But we're always getting into trouble with our guests. Well, you know, we did this gig in Germany, right? And everything was A-OK. -okay. And then 
these lads stayed behind right and they said are you the naughty boys and there was trouble as I can imagine there would be yeah with something like, like I mean that. that's really stupid that can you can you talk a little bit how how German audiences um, took to to your material? I mean, could they understand it? Well, the, our goose was making threatening signs to them all the time. We got some terrible press over there. Yeah, but like, right, that's got. We're supposed to do rehearsals all the time every week, right? And where's our goose? He's down in the buffet all the time. Can we talk a little bit about your influences? Standard musical question: Who who your influences? Well, we used to like um Tweet. the sweet, but they went all heavy. And we used to we used to get all the Gary Glitter records as well because they were really good. They had a nice sound to them. And like we like oh, anybody who sings songs about love, because like we're all like singing songs about love. Well, I like Mark Bones P. Rex. Well, um, what we'll do now, I think, is, is go into the second track, the Sound of Sirens. Um, can you tell us a little bit about this one? Well, it's like it's a record for all the housewives, really. It's like it's got a nice housewife feel to it. And it's just, it's just, it's a terrible, tragic song, you know. But um, it, 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 that that mash song, you know, that was all about nasty things as well, made sounding nice. But we've done it as well, you know. So you you're really hoping for a hit with the housewives? Well, really, you know, because like the the, the youth cultures, you know, they just I don't know over there. They just when we we did we European tour, they just didn't want to know, you know. It was all the housewives and in the audiences and that. So. You think that perhaps you are the start of housewife rock? It could be, yes, really. It could. You know, I got a postcard from Gus last week in Turin. He hasn't built it anyone for a week, you know. We can't rehearse without him. You know that You know that, that track that, where the cymbals go, Ksh, that's how I Gus putting him, you know. <laughs> And explain it down the phone Your mother's so upset Now that she's all on her own Your brother's gonna kill me For the things that I said He's never gonna realize That I'm the one who said instead Nothing I do and nothing I say Make me change your mind And I've been hurt Hurt, hurt And I've been hurt The pills are on the sideboard And they stand me in the face I try to look away But I know that I'm a big disgrace If you hear the sound of sirens Then you know that I'll be dead I've swallowed all I've got the poison's going to my head Nothing I do and nothing I say Will make you change your mind And I've been hurt Hurt, hurt And I've been hurt Country boys and the sound of sirens uh, Gideon, perhaps I can I can ask you, um, are these tracks going to be coming out anywhere? I mean, do you have anybody interested in making a record with you? Well, I, I think the best one to answer that would be our Glyn, because because he does all the hustle in there. Okay, well, come on then, you tell me, you hustle away. Well, I hope so, you know, like, we're going to go to London and play all our music to them, you know. We're going to take some housewives down with us as well, so they give us some moral support. Some moral support? Yes, because they can tap their feet in that when, when we're playing with tapes to all, all, all the music people down there. Now, I, I understand even at this early stage, um, Gus has got plans for, what, a solo album? A solo, a solo something, I do know. He's doing a single of his own, you know, that you know that, that Queen record that came out before? That Which Bohemian one, Rhapsody? Yeah. Well, he's doing his own version of that, like, it's not bad. Yes, well, if it's, if it's the one that I've heard, uh, shall, we, shall we play that? Charles! Back in the real life, it's just, just fantasy. Caught in the last sight, no escape from reality. Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. 
Do you think that we'll see gusset number one with that one? Well, I don't know. I mean, I know there's going to be an awful lot of sore heads around if he doesn't get there. You know, because he's, our gut is a sore head and gives other people sore heads as well. I don't know. I would tell, it, tell him what happened, Giddy. Our Giddy wanted to go to the ballot last week. He wouldn't let him go. He feels that, uh, that ballet isn't, isn't quite the sort of thing for young gentlemen it's to all, be. Uh, we were all going to watch it. Tell you the other week that cabaret was on, you know, with Lisa Manelli, and like, he wouldn't let him watch it. No, he wanted the wrestling on. Well, he sounds like a bit of a killjoy to me, I must say. He's no fun, man. He's no fun. I, 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 there's one thing you just don't do, and you don't mess with our Gus. Is Gus intending to come along tonight? Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know where he is well, I think, at the can moment. We, can we just, um, just uh, stop this now? I'll just, uh, I'll just leave you, boys. OK, a final track, all right? Okay. Yes, you better put Gus's track on, yeah, because okay, well, I see it. you know what's going to happen. He'll put him, you know, if he doesn't put it on. He dares to do that. Yeah.
heard the Nancy boys, and uh, you heard Glyn and Gideon talking to Ian Penman. And you also heard the boys playing three tracks of their own and one from Gus. There was Social Insecurity, The Sound of Sirens, and the last one was It's So Charming When We're Out Farming, and Gus was doing his version of Bohemian Rhapsody. I think I preferred that to the original. Well, it was the original.